What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Rowe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like a video if you appreciate the content that Poe Rowe and What's the Numbers I provided. Today, we're talking about Alexander Reds Rivera out of the Kensington area of North Philadelphia. If you're not familiar with the Kensington area, it's basically an open-air drug market. One of the biggest on the East Coast where users and dealers converge on to conduct their dealings. So back in 2008, the BBC network, which airs in the United Kingdom in London, they was out there filming the market, the scene, basically how dealers and users run around with no fear of the law handling their business. So while they're out there filming, they watching, the, they, they come across a fight, and during that fight, they narrow in on a, on, a, on a guy, a prominent figure in the area he looks like. He got a bunch of jewelry on, he got a following behind him, he got people ready to do what he, what he says it looks like. So they start interviewing him. And, you know, cops supposedly told the guy that he's a drug dealer and all that. So he's asking him. He's like, yeah, the police told me you're a drug dealer. So I, he's like, no, I'm not a drug dealer. I'm not a drug dealer. You know, I sell cars. I do different things. So they start asking about his chain. Now, like, how much is your chain? He's like, oh, it's like 2000 Then eventually he tells him it's 25000 He's like, wow, you got all that money, this and the third. So, you know, he takes him on his tour of the, of the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Not telling on himself too much. The guy's implicating a lot of things. Like asking a lot of, you know, sketchy questions as far as, like, what do you do? And how you get your money? But he's not answering them too crazy. But, you know, fast forward about a year and a half, two years later, in November 3rd, 2010, he ended up getting indicted for basically everything the guy was asking, you know, drug conspiracy, um, possession of firearms, shootings, kidnappings, different things. So they re-released the, 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 the interview now. It's on YouTube. They put it out on YouTube in 2010. And you can go check that out. It's still up there. So... You know how it goes with the Fed and trial and all that. It takes a little year and a half for the corporate season to work itself out. So eventually, it's time for trial. The Fed's got a quick two-week trial, a conviction in no time. And his right-hand man basically told on him. Um, the 15 other people that was in the indictment copped out. And he got, he got convicted with everything. All charges found guilty. So, so now it's time for Rez to get sentenced. You know what I'm saying? Him and his girl... And um, sentencing, you know, with the Fed, certain charges bring maximum life in prison, minimum life in prison, and that's exactly what he got. He got life in prison plus 60 months, and his girl got 10 years. The rest of the people in the indictment copped out. I'm not sure how much the, the snitch got. But, so that's that. That's where it was at at 2010. He had got sentenced, got all that time. His girl got 10 years, and um, that's what we had learned about Red. That was all we had heard about Red. So then I, I Googled then recently, in 2013, he had applied. He had, he had he had filed for an appeal on like terms of like um the audio or certain evidence they had, audio footage and um video footage shouldn't have not been used in court. And his time was too excessive. He had different things like that. That got denied. They denied his appeal. I'm sure he probably has more appeals since then, or is working on appeal still. And that's basically it right now. He's still staying up with life. His girl, that was in 2010. They got locked up in 2019. So she probably out on her way out. It is fed time. So I'm not exactly knowing how much she did. But she probably home by now. And um, yeah, he's still fighting. I think, I think he's trying, maybe he's trying to get another pill. Maybe not. I'm not sure. But I just wanted to touch on this topic because I like touching on different areas. You know, I did. I do a lot of New York. I do a lot of Chicago. I do a lot of L.A. You know what I'm saying? But Philadelphia, I'm touching on Philly right here. I got something coming out of Louisiana with Marlo Mike. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know who that is, you'll know who that is soon. And it just shows you how it's always been. Internet, I, I mean, Instagram isn't the first time people getting themselves indicted off of the internet. It's been going on for a long time. It's just like a drug. You know, fame is a drug. Some people want got the money. They want the fame to go with the money. Some people got the fame. They need the money to go with the fame. So it's like go hand in hand for some people. And in these situations, it is. Like Red, he had the money. He was doing his thing. There really was no need for him to get on the camera and portray this, I run the neighborhood, or I'm a, you know, I'm a prominent guy in my neighborhood, or even going back to as far as 2005 with the whole BMF team, they was getting the most money in the world at the time, and driving all the land, but driving all the foreigns, all the jewelry, all the bottles in the club, all the girls, but they wanted the fame, and that's what they was looking to try to do, get in the rap game and get some fame, get some music money, and they all got indicted, you know what I'm saying, so it just shows you that sometimes... When you got the money, it's just better to fall back. You don't need the fame all the time. But anyway, I'll be back before you know with a new video, man. It's What's the Numbers TV. You already know. Follow. I mean, subscribe to the channel. Like a video. I'm almost at 10K. 
I appreciate everybody who subscribed. Even if you ain't subscribed, you just give me a view from here now and then. And give me a view every once in a while. I appreciate it, man. So what's the Numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Rowe. And I'm out of here. Peace.